Hello guys, it's Boy Double from Sunel. <laughs> so uh, I got this knife today uh, from a site and I saw the name and I was like, what the fuck, dude? I haven't really seen a name tag like this before, you know, with uh, Chinese, I'm guessing it is, letters. So I searched around a bit and it seemed like it's actually pretty, uh, pretty easy to do. So Max Skillet did a similar video before, but he didn't include Unicode characters. He only included, you know, the vote pass, the hostage, and the vote failed ones, and some other cool ones, which is a really nice video. But I started thinking, like, what if you can do other things with Unicode? So I saw a Reddit post actually posted six months ago by a guy called The Only Luke. Thank you so much for posting this. But uh, in six months, I don't really think it's gotten that much attention. I posted a picture on Twitter and almost no one knew about this, uh, how, how you name them, uh, like Unicode uh, characters. Also think, because I'm from Sweden, we have three special characters in the Swedish alphabet. We have O, A and Ö. And these, of course, aren't available just to name. You can see I can write... Well, uh, uh, and you see the name you've chose the name you choose is not valid try another one so it doesn't work same if you come from russia and use the acrylic alphabet you might want to try something like bleat naming your knife bleat that would be pretty cool but that doesn't work either so uh hmm how do we fix this now there are actually quite a lot of different unicode converter sites but this is the easiest that i've found and it's called pinyin.info and it's really nice so what you do is you just copy paste or write the letter or the code that you want to convert and then click convert and you see you get this, a large uh, text which is just like the Unicode number for the uh, characters. Then what you do is you go into CS and copy paste all of these numbers but as you can see it's too long, it doesn't fit, it only produces belia. Now of course there are exceptions, like with a dollar code it's only two numbers, it's 36, so of course you could paste this more than three times, actually four times, but this is the most I've found you could use a character, is four times. Now if you live in a country that uses different characters than the English alphabet, this is of course very useful because you can name your, your knives and your skins things you couldn't before. Like if I use 214 and then an L, it produces this word, which means beer in Swedish, L. Nice! Or if I'd want to write something like this, it produces the word fitskegg, which means kuntbeard. Ah, uh, not as nice. You can also name your knife this, which makes it gay. Now with this, you can also combine some pretty cool smileys, like this one. Uh -huh. Now, like with the M9 marble you saw that I had in my inventory, you can even use Chinese letters, like this. This reads Qingzhao, which means sexual intercourse. Nice. Now, if you're feeling extra adventurous, you could just randomize the numbers. So let's say I would want to use uh, 21, uh, 325, maybe? No, my god. Yeah, I don't really know why, why this is in the game. Like, uh, you can actually name your, your weapon a swastika. <laughs> I think that's going to be pretty abused. Uh, but uh, normally that's not a swastika, that's a Buddhist symbol. No, dude, everyone thinks that this is a swastika. Don't don't start shit, bro. Now, I know this can be abused with a swastika and other symbols, but I think, like, since I'm Swedish, I really want to use OAE in the name tags that I put on my weapons. Because, you know, if I want to create a Swedish word, and then I realize, oh, no, it's got a, it's got a, one of those symbols in it. I can't use it. That, that's just sad. I searched for some custom remade weapons and I've found a few that are like pretty horrible, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys won't uh, abuse it because it's actually very useful and I hope they don't remove it because it's, ac you know, it's it's useful, um, but uh, yeah, some of these are pretty, pretty bad, pretty bad. Now something I realized after renaming my knife Hui, it actually didn't get the last uh, letter because the last letter didn't have the semi colon semi thing, you know? Um, so I guess you can only use two, maybe, in some cases. Fuck. You could just also be very generic and name your knife three dollar signs because, you know, fucking pimpin' Now, in-game, it might not actually look that cool, because as you can see, in the bottom right corner, it shows three dollar signs, but when you inspect the weapon, it doesn't show three dollar signs, it just shows the code that you input to get those three dollar signs. But don't worry, the people inspecting you in-game can actually see the three dollar signs in the bottom, but of course they can't see it on the name tag itself. Greek letters also work, so it's really cool to name your knife maybe Omega, Delta, Alpha, something like that, and use the, the symbol for the first letter. Nice. This has been around for a long time, actually, but it's just that not many people seem to know about it. So I thought I might as well make a video on it, because I think this has a lot of use. It's really cool. Uh, I'll definitely be using it for Swedish named uh, name tags, so I can use OAE. 
And it's just it's just fucking cool, dude. It's just like small things you find uh, find in the game. Nice. Hey, you bunny. So like I said in the last video, Drakeman is hosting a Dragon Lord giveaway through me, which is pretty cool. And you can use my code on their site if you want to, it's anomaly. But remember, if you win something cool, you will have to deposit $1 in order to withdraw it. Nice.